let me show you how to make falafel sandwich, the most popular and renowned uh, sandwich across the Middle East with unlimited variations, but this one is authentically Lebanese. So pre-soak the night before some chickpeas and fava beans. Uh, of course, keep cleansing the water from time to time until next day, but keep the water, I mean, keep it full in water. Now into a mint, into a meat mincer, uh, start adding the pulses in and grinding them uh, just on the smallest one possible. So the smallest um, little one mincer possible. Then add in fresh coriander, chilies, mild chilies. I prefer mild chilies because it gives a bit of an edge into the falafel. Onions, garlic, uh, fresh parsley and a little handful of fresh mint leaves in addition to about five or six cloves of garlic. Mince all of that together, then add to that some salt to, of course, add flavor into the patty and, of course, abido spices. So the spice mix I use is nothing like, it's not rocket science or anything, it's just this brand. This is amazing. You don't need to go and buy different spices and put them together. And also, what I love adding into the falafel mix is some toasted sesame seeds. The more the better. I'm not saying a huge amount, but at least about two to three handfuls of toasted sesame seeds. And then give all of that a mix. Now that's a big, you know, or a large uh, quantity there. What I did is I split them into little parcels to go to the freezer. And then the one that I was going to use immediately, I actually added to that about one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. Let it rest for 20 minutes and then putting it uh, into a mold, shaping the falafel into a mold, uh, into its mold, start deep frying that. Um, so frying the falafel usually takes about um, 15 minutes on pretty medium heat. Um, so look at that, it's quite golden and crunchy. Make sure you poke it, once you turn it around a couple of times, make sure you poke it with a toothpick because that would allow it to cook further uh, from the inside. Now also mix some tahini or tarator, I'll also explain to you in the recipe below, uh, into a bread and then into a flat bread and then add the falafels, the tahini, tomatoes, uh, pickles, uh, you can pref you, I mean, ideally you should have like uh, turnip pickles, but I didn't have it. Some parsley, some more sauce, some spring onions, and you've got yourself the best falafel sandwich made at home. Sahtin.